Seabin have just launched a city pilot here in Sydney. This is a 12 month campaign where we'll be offering uh, services to the city in 20 different sea bins in seven different locations. We've got an Enviro technician stopping off, emptying the sea bins, uh, checking what's in them and interacting with the community. So as the environmental technician for sea bin in Sydney Harbour, my daily tasks are to tend to all of the sea bins, make sure they're all running smoothly, any maintenance that they need, cleaning the sea bins, uh, gathering data and weighing all of the rubbish that we're collecting on a daily basis. Um, and showing that what we're doing is really measurable and having a really big impact. Over the next 12 months here in Sydney with the City Pilot, the fleet of sea bins will be filtering 4.3 billion litres of water and pulling out between 28 to 40 tonnes of marine litter. Every three months we'll be providing an impact report of what we've removed from the water. Just cleaning up is not enough. The City Pilot is about focusing on both clean up, prevention and then adding the measurable impact so the data monitoring, and uh, we, we figured that Sydney Harbour is probably the greatest location that we could put a pilot into. It's our backyard, and it's you know, the world's greatest natural harbour. Unfortunately, it also has a lot of debris in the water. As I do my rounds tending to the sea bins, I find all sorts of things. Parking ticket. What else? Delicious little ciggy packet. But the reoccurring theme and the most kind of scary thing that I find are the microplastics. We've got a few bulky items, like um, a few obvious things, like a tennis ball, water bottle. Um, and then we've got, you know, the microplastics, which are the real, real concern. These little, little guys that sort of end up getting eaten by marine life. We're heading to Dabora Marinas at Rushcutters Bay. We actually installed a brand new bin there yesterday afternoon, which was cool. So it'll be good to see how that one's doing and how it's sort of settling into its new home. This sea bin's collected six kilograms of rubbish in 24 hours. Well, a lot of plastic in here. With the marinas, uh, you know, the management and the staff even, uh, they're, they're extremely excited because you know, they essentially we can free up their workload and their day and uh, provide them with the services to keep the marinas cleaner. For Seabin to provide an environmental technician to be able to support us and assist us and really work with us to get that stuff done regularly on time is, is a great outcome for the marinas and for the oceans. Look, I think this pilot project is a great idea because it helps all of us who are really interested in supporting sea bins, which should be as prevalent in the water as land bins are on land. It's providing a framework to places like City of Sydney to allow them to come and just treat it like any other bin and create that process that treats the sea as if it's part of the land. And the objective is to literally get support from the city uh, support from the local communities uh, to provide services for, for Sydney Harbour to keep it cleaner. Because if you've got the rubbish bins on land, how come we don't put them in the water? And if the ones on land are serviced, then how come we can't service the ones in the water? If we can pull this off here in Sydney City, we know that we can scale this throughout New South Wales and, and then the rest of the states in Australia. And, and if we can do that, we know that we can scale it globally. We've got 12 months ahead of us and yeah, we, we think it's going to make quite an impact and hopefully a bit of a game changer this one. <laughs>